So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0440 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0440 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the EVAP system. And the EVAP system is for emissions, and it's to keep all the gas vapors inside of the gas tank and sent back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer is seeing an issue with this. And so the main components that can go bad inside of a Dodge EVAP system is going to be the purge solenoid. This is a common one. You're also going to have the charcoal canister, which also contains a vent solenoid, a field tank pressure sensor, which is where that's sending all the information back to the onboard computer. And of course, all the hoses that go around any of these might cause leaks. And the gas cap is also part of, of this whole system. So the first thing that's going to be to check is going to be the gas cap. Go out and check the gas cap. Be sure it's on tight. Check the seal that goes around it and everything. You know, be sure this is all good. It, it might be something else causing this code, but the gas cap is part of the EVAP system. Because once the engine's running and everything, there needs to be a slight vacuum inside of the gas tank with, for that sensor to pick that up. So if the gas cap's not sealing it, then it could pop up with the P0440 code. So first thing to do, check the gas cap. If it does look bad, then go ahead and replace it. But be sure to get an OEM, original gas cap, as sometimes third-party gas caps don't work very well. Uh, it can't cause issues. So if you do replace it, be sure to replace it with the correct original OEM gas cap. And the next thing to check is going to be the purge valve, which is located up in the, in the engine compartment underneath the hood. And this is a small valve that opens when the engine's running for all the, for all the gas vapors to run back into the engine and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's off so they don't escape. And it's a pretty simple valve. It'll have two hoses going to it usually and a, and a harness. They're pretty easy to swap out if it does go bad. But check this harness. Be sure that the wiring's good because wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad component. And you can either test it or replace it. They're pretty low cost parts. But the second thing to check is going to be the purge valve. And the next thing to check is going to be the charcoal canister. These can vary on the location. Sometimes they're up and underneath by the gas tank. And sometimes they're located differently in dodges. So you have to Google it for your particular dodge. But the charcoal canister also has a vent solenoid uh, located on it. And quite commonly with these, they, they have seals that can leak or the hoses attached. There'll be like two or three hoses going to it and a wiring harness that needs to be checked. And these can be a common leak point and can cause an issue inside of the system. So the next step to check is going to be that charcoal canister. And the last thing to check is going to be all the hoses that run around to everything. You're going to have hoses running to the charcoal canister, up to the purge valve, back to the gas tank. And if any of these hoses leak, they can cause an issue. So if you took it to a mechanic, what they do is they run a smoke machine and they feed it into the EVAP system and they look where the smoke came out and they know where the leak is. If you don't have a smoke machine, then you can go around and visibly check all these hoses. Be sure there's no cracks or anything like this. Be sure those connections are all good and that there's no leaks going on, basically. So one of the last things to check is going to be all these hoses. And if you check everything else and everything else looks good, then one thing that it could be is it could be this fuel tank pressure sensor, which sends the data back to the onboard computer for what's going on in the system. And it's possible that it failed and it just sent it back bad data. While that doesn't happen too often, I mean, it is possible and it does happen sometimes. And so that's basically it. And the main causes of why you could get a Dodge with the P0440 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.